There will be a few new faces on some local high school sports teams this year. That's because homeschooled students can now play sports at a traditional high school. It's a change in policy by the Indiana High School Athletic Association, and one local district is already trying it out. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins us with more. Yeah, the IHSAA says it's considered doing this for the past couple years and finally approved it back in April. East Allen County Schools is giving it a try, and parents have already signed up their children. A new school year is days away. At EACS, sports teams can now include homeschooled students thanks to a new rule passed by the IHSAA. Our board um, knew that there were some inquiries of some families that were interested, homeschool uh, families that were interested in being a part of our athletics. The EACS school board approved the decision last night. It requires students to take at least one class at an EACS high school for an entire school year. If a, a student runs track, they still have to enroll in the fall semester. Homeschool students can already enroll in any EACS high school and once they do they can come out and join a team and for every student who does this the district gets additional money from the state. I think it boils down to between six and eight hundred dollars a student. The money is not the, f the main factor. The, the factory is that we're able to reach out to our community to help in those areas, not only academically, but athletically. One student is already signed up. He's playing football at New Haven High School. And another parent wants to sign her daughter up for softball at Heritage High School. I really thought that this would be a good opportunity for her because she loves to play softball and it's definitely her sport. Families have a, a choice to how they want to educate their, their student, but this is an added benefit for them to come join us in athletics. The homeschooled students must live in the East Allen District and play for the school in their area. And if they drop the class they sign up for, they'd have to wait an entire year before they can enroll again. Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.